everything you need for a treehouse. Everything you need for a treehouse. Written by Carter Higgins. Illustrated by Emily Hughes. Everything you need for a treehouse starts with time and looking up and imagining a home of timber and rafters in wrangled, gnarled bark. Your tree may need to stand mighty and alone with balconies of branches so you can fling your arms wide and scout skunks in their burrows and moles in the meadow, even if you need binoculars and ten tippy toes. Or maybe it's one soldier in an army of trees, and from far away you'd have to squint to see which one is yours. Is that my turret or a tangled crown? A grove of generals, your refuge in the flora. Whether solo or squished, make sure your tree is tall. You'll want to see sun speckles up close. Start with blueprints to sketch, a hammer to hit, some nails, and a saw. Don't forget a hard hat for your head. Then brace once and bolt twice, raise a slat on some stilts, run a ladder up high. With the scraps, you can build a box for the begonias and a picket for the zinnias. Here, tiny slugs, this feast is for you. You can even have this marigold, because seeds are easy to sow. Of course, you'll need a swing, or maybe a rope. Some twisted twine of spun sugar and sap, a way to climb and sprawl out on a limb and slide back down again. You should build yourself a bookshelf, because you might want to sail sun-kissed seas or dig a hole through dirt and roots and rocks to the other side. When you get hungry in your hideaway, you'll be glad for the stack of snacks you stashed in your backpack. Red licorice and drippy peaches are my favorites, but if you like pistachios, those are okay too. The pirates like those, so we can spit the shells from our perch. Make sure your sleeping bag doesn't have holes. Your socks either, the fuzziest kind. It gets chilly so high, and you won't want to shiver under the pin-pricked canopy. But the stars will fall past your reach, and you'll need a flashlight so you can make your own sky with spotlights and shadows. And you'll think it was such a good idea, this pile of pillows. Should the shadows ever growl, it would be nice if your sleeping bag had room. You scoot that way and I'll scoot this way. And did you hear that bullfrog chorus? The best kinds of friends share squeezed hands, and they come with some guts and a smile. You can spill secrets and whispers in a treehouse because the wind keeps them snug with a rustle, which is a hush you can feel in your bones. That's how you know it's safe. But if your whisper is broken, you can warble and yell. The thrashers will scatter, and the barn owls echo, and the crickets will welcome the company. The begonias, the whispers, the sap, and the speckles. Everything you need for a treehouse starts with time and looking up. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to the storybook. If you like this story, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.